to draw a parabola, the um, quadratic function's graph is called a parabola. So to draw a parabola, we need two things. We need the turning point, okay, which is the position. The turning point is actually quite easy. If we have the original format, so we're going to say, let's say we have y or fx. If x is equal to a x minus p, just note that's a negative p squared plus q. If we have that format, then the turning point is given by p comma q, where p is the symmetry line. So x equal to p is the symmetry line and on this line somewhere it's going to turn and wherever it turns that that maximum or minimum value is called is the value q it's the maximum or minimum value depending on the shape of the graph the second now what if we don't have that format what if we have the ax squared plus bx plus c format well in that case our um, formula for the turning point our p-value, in other words, the equation of the symmetry line, we can get by using the formula two, uh, b divided by 2a. I won't go into the reason why at this point, okay? but that's the formula you will get. And we will get q by taking this answer that we got for p and substituting it into the fx that I have. So I'll substitute in um, the answer for p to get the value of Q. That's how we'll find the turning point. Okay, what if I now want, uh, what do I need next? Next I need the intercepts. Now this one will have three intercepts at the most. Okay, we'll have our Y intercept. And like always, we make x0 okay and that will give us the y intercept the x intercept in in the case where we have ax squared plus uh, bx plus c my x will be 0 and my y will be c okay so it's easy to find the y intercept in the one format the x intercepts we'll just make y equal to 0 or fx equal to 0 and then we'll solve for x. Now you'll see just now and each one of the, uh, for the x intercept I can have one intercept or actually two intercepts because um, the graph comes back I can have two intercepts one intercept or I can have no intercepts. In other words, the graph turns before it gets to the x-axis. 